I'm live now. Let me, uh, what do you want to do? Man, enable face mask today. No, I don't want to, but let me grab my shiz. You want to show them all your toys you got? Um, some new toys, definitely. Sorry about the mic, guys. I know. I tried to find that, uh, the stream that the last time I had that. I was talking about you. How much is that microphone? 200 bucks. But I had a stream when I was talking about it. I was like, oh, gosh, I'm talking about shit in the kitchen. It's like Christmas. Yeah, I was supposed to talk about it. I was like, what the fuck? I'm looking all over for it to add to the video before and after. But, uh, yeah, you see what happened there. Well, I didn't have Facebook for like a month. Oh, I forgot. Why I don't know how you even were able to message that to me. You still haven't gotten it yet? Send me the link. Send me Facebook Messenger. I don't ha have that. I don't have How that about this? I win the fight by two rounds. You give me a you buy me a mic. Come on. Two rounds and a mic. Is that a deal? You don't even want me staying in, staying in your hotel room. Not the night before. Well, who am I going to stay over. with? My boyfriend's going to be there. Stay with Brian and Joey. Good choice. You need another glass? I got bitches and I gotta get in the shower. How long have you been in for? Uh, like 40 minutes. 40 Usually minutes. I never keep it in for too long. It doesn't come out. So I, Felicia's like, I leave it in for, an, for, for like an hour. Yeah. And this oil has its oils in it. Well, we know hour. what happens when you don't leave it in long enough. Yeah. It never comes out good. Look at my girl, Leia. You know we have a new med tech, her name is Leia. Oh yeah? Yep. What is it, Leia? Leia. I call, I call her Leia, Leia. though. <laughs> Savage. I just have a different accent. What well, that's what you call it? Did what you does it smell? Your, did you show her your tattoo? Yes, I did. Savage. Look, there's the 50 cal. Sniper rifle. I was in the army for like four years, and this one girl, this one uh, private would come up to me every day, every day when we were in chapel, and she would come up to me, and she'd be like, hey, uh, Selden, you think you can get me this? And I hated it. I hated it. Every day he asked me, I said, private, Johnson, leave me alone. I'm eating my chow. Get back on the bricks, boy. And that was the end of it. I was never really in the um, army, guys. I just made that up. Rep loud. Er. Boom, 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 boom. Ba boom, bing, ba bing, bing. No live action? No, what scene is that? Ah, editor. Yeah, there we go. What's crack a in Hammerheads? What up, Hammer Time? What up, Boston? What is crack a in What camera will we use here? Um, I guess we'll go with that one. I'll just make it a little bigger. Make it a little bigger. So I am leaving for training camp on Sunday. I'm leaving on Sunday. So I want to unbox some of my toys before I leave. I order one just the last day so that I can get it today because tomorrow would be the last official day. And I'm ready to unbox some of these things. I hope you enjoy them. I really was hoping to get a new microphone for Christmas, if you guys remember that. And Punky. Didn't actually get me one. The Cletus wasn't a good boy. Shit! What up, Con Chon Cheese? I hope you have a good New Year's Eve. Well, my New Year's Eve will be in Florida. So I will be at home doing absolutely uh, nothing. Now, what I would like from you guys, who do you guys want to see first? I got the Mark. Two Iron Man, and I got T'Chaka. T'Chaka. From a Facebook group. I bought it for uh, 225 bucks. You get off the website for 220 plus shipping, plus tax. I said, eh, let me just grab it real quick. Save me a few extra 
a few extra bucks. Amazing display you got going on. Yeah, I've been working on it. Uh, the lights, I don't feel like putting them on right now. But I fixed the lighting on this one. I fixed the lighting on this one. I worked on the lighting on this one. This one's done. This one's done. And this one's done. I just got to do this one shelf. But this one shelf's going to be uh, all SH figure arts. Yeah. All SH figure arts. And, uh, yeah, I guess I'll put a light on. Give me a second. I'm going to put this light on. I haven't been doing it lately. I've been a little... Acknowledge the pig boys. Lazy. Hey, buddy. Please be careful. With? That something falling on their cage. What about me, though? But what about me? So these are all like set up. These two, this one is already all wired up. I just have to plug it in. But uh, I didn't get that far. And this one needs to be, this one's all custom shelved up. I, I added like shelves and I'm uh, taking out shelves. This one I changed up too so you fit the Hulk in them. But uh, there's a lot of glare on there. But um, what up cam girl? That Bucky O'Hare though. That's an awesome figure. You like that? Oh, it's my OG stuff. Iron Man Mark II, Tachaka, Tachaka. Don't forget there's a 15% off code on eBay that runs out in 90 minutes. I know. I'm not going to be here for the next uh, month or so, so I can't use it. I'm very disappointed in that. I'm very disappointed. Uh, what do you guys on the Twitch want to see? Iron Man 2 or Tachaka? Tachaka. Just put TA so you know. I found a Chase Huckleberry. Hound Pop Pez at GameStop yesterday. Pretty hard to get him at GameStop because uh, everybody knows. Yeah, so I thank you on that, uh, Sean Fisher. Currently watching Venom and Tom Hardy reminds me of you. I told you. The people tell me this and Shia LaBeouf in one. Yeah. T'Chaka. All right, I'm going with T'Chaka. I'm going with T'Chaka first. I got two of them. I got a whole closet full. There's like 15 of them in there. Um... <laughs> There is actually like 15 of them. But I got to say this before I head. So I'm not going to be here January. So I post, uh, I, I told Sideshow, hey, listen, I'm going to be away. Don't send me nothing until February. So February 1st or 5th, there's going to be like, like 10 Hot Toys coming in that month. Because I was supposed to get like five or three or something like that. And then... March is coming in, and it's going to be like, it's going to be Iron Spider-Man, it's going to be, oh, I got Heller on a wait list, uh, Anakin, uh, maybe Count Dooku, uh, did I say the Emperor yet, uh, Captain America, Thor, and I don't know who else, but there's a bunch of them coming. How's DVG? Hope you enjoyed it. Hell yeah, I'm like 40 freezers in there. Freezers around now. Now this package came from. Thank you. R and B Allen Co. That makes sense now. So this was shipped UPS. And I was wondering why the individual would ship it UPS instead of United States Post Service, like everybody else. Now it makes sense because he probably has a contract with them for uh, shipping UPS. And I found out if an item weighs more than 5 pounds, you want to ship it UPS or FedEx. And this came in at... Um, it actually doesn't say. I have this box here and I have a 25 pound box of uh, boxing equipment that Title Boxing, the website Title Boxing, sent me. So I got to unbox that in a video tomorrow. 25 pounds of equipment that I I kind of asked for, but then they kind of said that, um, hey, we're going to send it to you. I said, okay. Uh, now, this is supposed to be brand new. The freezer saga is amazing. Just can't wait until Goku transforms. And he, I, had, I don't know any of this yet. I don't know any of that. Um, it's supposed to be brand new. It's supposed to be just taken out and taking pictures. I have the full BP pop line. Which is Black Panther Pop one. Yeah, I have all the Black Panther Pops. That was possibly the last wave that I completed. Because I, I quit at Affinity Wars. I quit at Affinity Wars. And look at that bad boy. Chaka! 
the Ginyu Force. I want to. I seen the um. There's a fake good custom of that character, and I haven't been up to him yet, so I don't know much about him. But I want to buy him as a figure art. Um, I did do my figure arts video. I haven't posted it yet. Tomorrow I'm going live here at 10 a.m. with the grading company who is selling those graded Funko Pops. Go on, man. Over 50 pounds of very large box. Go fed that FedEx. Yeah. I, anything over five pounds, basically, I see online. I did a little research for that. Tachaka that Tachaka that out the window. We want Iron Man. That's uh, pretty flocking hilarious. And that is box wine, by the way. Living that life right now. It's my like last days of life. And I think. Give me a second. I think I can reverse the camera. Um, auto buffering capture. Do, 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 resolution type. No. Um, I forget. I forget. Oh, here we go. Let's see if this works. Did that work? I think it worked. It should say. It should read kind of backwards. Yeah. Look at that. The chaka. The chaka. Now it says, Achuta, Achuta. What's awesome box, bro? Thank you. The Chaka. Sideshow exclusive, by the way. The Sideshow flocking exclusive. Ooh. I love the box art on these. Like, I wish these Detoff shelves were big enough to hold the, the box in the back and then put the figure. Oh, these things look great. Look at the artwork. Oh, they look like it glows, too. See me go down on there. I went down on that bad boy. Hammerheads, what up, sisters flock? Alright. Not as good as artwork if I've seen before in the like for uh, I got a Captain Phasma. Oh artwork was off the chain. And uh the one guy that you want for all these unboxing is this mother flock right here. JC Hong. JC Hong. I follow him on uh, Instagram. He's basically the faced artist for these guys. They know how to package. Yes, they do know how to package, but uh, Hot Tool, I mean, Sideshow does it because they only send it in the, uh, in the one box. Excuse me. They don't send it in the double box. They usually just send it in that one brown shipper box like we'll do with the um, Iron Man. All right, T'Chaka. Let's actually read the instruction first before we get into this because I never ever do that. I never do that. The best Black Panther figure by far. I did get the throne. Uh, I do have Black Panther on pre-order. I just have to pre-order Shira, and I need to get Ant-Man, the Wasp. I think that's it, and that's basically 2019. <laughs> um, and then Captain America, when she comes out or whatever, they're probably in the works with her because Funko already got there orders in or maybe they wait till the film's out and then they do it because they only make like one character which is great nice they don't have to do very many variants now where is that flocking instructions yay this thing's actually pretty useful and i started using it for the figure walks as well and i'm taking a figure wall with me to florida um just so i have a little tour to play with every single day because i get i hate leaving my collection i hate it Best Black Panther figure. You need a rematch. With who? Box is fire. Hammer heads. Hit that like button. Alright, let's see what this bad boy entails for us. Um, I gotta pay $225 for this. The Genie Force, the box itself is awesome. They know how to package that robe. Yeah. Alright, so A. Hey, head movement, only up and down. Um, wearing the bracelet. Take the damn hand off first. It's important. C. Hands with claws. Be careful. Caution. Don't get the figure in touch with sharp objects. Fire or heat to avoid damage. Okay. <laughs> Don't rub the figure with thinner alcohol or material could damage the material as well. All right. 
The outfit is not attachable. Don't try to take it off. Otherwise, it may get damaged. Thank you. Do not expose the figure in sunlight. Okay. Sometimes they'll say how much you can bend the figure and how much you can't bend the figure, which is kind of definitely handy for me because I have a problem with overplaying with my figures and posing them. Ooh, ooh, new hot toy in hand. Nobody ever bought hot toys so fast ever. Yeah, I think I broke the world record. Um, and then what I'm gonna do when I get back from my fight in Florida, I'm gonna actually box up these ones because you know, there's only like a few of them and just do an ultimate unboxing series. Thing. I'm gonna unbox like 40 of them because maybe I'll, yeah, that, that'd be like my February thing. So I'll have like all of them in in February and I'll just unbox like 40 of them at once. I still want to unbox like 50 of these. That's uh, these figure arts as well. Let's get these little. I got the throne coming, which is nice. Um, let me grab this. Eh, I feel like these displays need to be a little bit wider. Ah, he's better. Captain Phasma, though, she sucks. I don't like her display. Her, she's this tall compared to everybody else, and her feet don't stay on it. Pain in the ass. How? Pain in the ass. Um, anybody get anything like Hot Toys for Christmas? Anybody get any cool pops? Anybody get anything cool for Christmas? Ooh, here's the little bracelet. So technically, T'Chaka uh, is Black Panther, right? Like whoever's on the throne is technically Black Panther. Um, we got one set on. So he comes with two. Comes with three sets of hands here. Three sets of hands. I'm trying to get the bracelet out. A little different sitting down, too. I usually stand up. I feel like a little bit more relaxed. Not crazy. Boom, got a little bracelet. All right, throw these in there. Before I lose all that. Ah, for some reason, like these little plastics, I have to save. No choice. All right, so hand-wise, you got like a, what the hell's the difference? Oh, one's with claws and one's without claws. Same exact pose with one with, po with uh, claws and one without. That's... He's probably going to be pretty easy to actually un uh, put together um, and pose because he's basic. And I'm just going to put him on a throne when it comes in. The Iron Man, though, is the first Iron Man I'm ever actually going to unbox. And the first one I'm ever going to see in my hand. So I'm pretty excited for that. Um, I got a Headless Man stock. Did you? Um, that would be pretty cool if you did. If not, that sucks. Cletus, Hot Toys selling. How you doing? How you doing? Really, AJ? You think it's the best? A metallic jolly B completes my ad icon set until the next one comes out in ten minutes or next Wednesday. Yeah, it sucks. Um, I'm gonna put his bracelet on his right hand. His right hand. Um, I have Captain America coming. I said that. Thor. The Iron Man. I got all his little accessories, which I can't wait to play with that thing. That's the mark, uh, I think it's the L. And I'm definitely going with the claws. You gotta go with the claws. Uh, let's get this bad boy up here so you can see what the flunk I'm doing. Oh, I bet you. Where'd his hand go? He has the peg in it. Mm. Oh, yeah. These things are like. Terrified. I started sweating just now. Straight up started sweating. Alright. That goes with that. Got a little bracelet. Got a little hand. And. There we go. Got a little claws. Little claws. Little claws. Little claws. Gotta go with the claws. Oh. I like that. I like that a lot. And let me move my big ass head. Hold on. Yeah. Hey, look how little I am. And how down I am. Let's go with that. Alright, got the bracelet on him. 
You got these uh, seamless bend here on his arm. Definitely don't want to pose his ass like that. I'll probably get him like in like a, a cat's pose if we can. His, his, it feels rubbery. Oh, I see. I thought already broke something. But it was this pit underneath his elbow. Or his armpit. Definitely don't want to bend that too far either. You can see like it's tight. It's tight. So far, the best figure I picked up, the Deadpool. I can do whatever the hell I want with him. Ooh. Gotta break his ass in. Yeah, boy. Take off this little plastic. You don't come with no feet. Just these, uh, just a one set. For two, I don't know, 220. I think he's, uh, he's big. I think he's worth it. I almost got myself a Winter Soldier the other day. But the guy sold it. Should the guy messaged me like 11 o'clock at night. It took too long to freaking message him back. The next morning, he said it was sold. For more than I was asking for it, too. So I was like, ah, you suck. Uh, the figure looks just as good as the statues. And you can pose them. Makes buying the statues no good for me. He has it right now. I'm not a statue guy. Especially uh, knowing that. I ain't that. I ain't gonna be able to pose it, I, like or display it, because they are pretty big. I've seen some Dragon Ball Z statues. Whew. See you later, Con Cheese. Um. Yeah, the, the statues take up some space, and that boxes are massive. Chaka. All right, how are we gonna pose them? We gotta just claws up, right? I have him at least to the side. You got a little torso. You got a little belly turn. Head. Let's go left and right. Maybe we'll go with like something like this. Mm. Or like that. Bend his legs up a little bit. Get him a little pose action. Play with this. Oh, I gotta turn the camera upside down. More than a second, let me turn this camera right side up for y'all. Da 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 da. Um, nope, that's the wrong one. Part my, part my French. I flocked up. Da da. Boom. Flip vertically. All right. Oh yeah, boy. Yeah, I'm on the flocker. To get back a little bit. It's all about having the right angle. Eh. Eh, I don't know. I don't know. You guys are too close to my face. Ah, uh, we'll leave it there. All right. So for his legs, wise, so we got him looking over his shoulder here. Yeah. Get a little bend in his arm. Nothing crazy. You can see his little rubber ma uh, outfit getting messed up. I originally wasn't going to get him until that throne came out. And I didn't want to be um, left out. Like, Hella, I'm on a wait list for Hella, which I'm kind of pissed about. Good thing, uh, which I'm pissed about because that mother flocker. That motherfucker should have been on sale for like a, like it went from low to sold out from uh, what I heard from Josh Pence. I mix statues with six scale. I ain't down with the statue game yet. I think he's pretty easy to pose actually. So we're just gonna go like bam, turn a little head this way. Got his claws up, ready to battle. Eh, eh. Maybe get his elbows in a little bit. Be a fighter. Be a fighter. Bend his knees. I like his pants. Um, you can basically bend his legs any way you want because his pants are like this uh, brushed material. So it doesn't really matter. Eh, let's get this leg down. Let me look at that. You look like a pansy. Hold on. Oh, 
that'd be pretty cool. So like this, if I had him like looking down on somebody, he just whooped their asses. He's looking down on you, like he just threw like Killmonger. I don't know if I'm gonna get Killmonger though. I'm like, people are like, you gotta get him. I feel like if I get him, my life's gonna be messed up because I'm gonna just be buying more of them. I'm gonna get like all the villains. Let's see if we can get him a good boxing pose. Come on. Bend your legs, buddy. Yeah, I like that. Arm up a little bit. I think that's how we going with him. Yeah, boy. I love posing these things. And uh, to me, the best posing ones are the figure arts. Details these, but you got to pose these flockers up. No museum poses for me. <sighs> Look at that. <sighs> I'm going to wreck your shit, boys. Look at that. Do, 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 do. Liking it. Liking it. I'll take, it only takes one statue. Hell no. Love status, love statue details and the scope, but I'm staying away from the black. Yeah, I ain't going with the black. I'm good. Do they hold their value up? Like, say they make Hulk. Are they going to make another Hulk right afterwards? He's slurping. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Prime one statues, though. <laughs> that place is out of control. They're like minimum 1K to like 5K. I like it. The chaka. Good luck, babe. One, two, three. Punky's dying a hair. One, two, three, four. Why don't you to chaka that out the window? That was the best line of the night. Um, so this again. Two hundred twenty-five bucks. Got off a Facebook group. Saved me shipping. And it saved me tax. Basically, it cost two twenty. I paid two twenty five. I like them. I like them. Probably pose them a few different ways. The good thing about this actual figure here, on um, uh, Sideshow's website, they actually have how to be a poser series, and he's on it. Um, I do kind of hate these stands because I want to pose him. This is, this is forwards in the, like this would be straight. This says Black Panther on his thing. And he's forwards, right? But I don't want him looking to the side. I want to look him like this. Like he's coming after you. Which is kind of annoying because the snout of stands facing totally on an angle. I wish they would make it or put some holes in it that you can cover it up. So you can turn that angles around. But he is going to stay right flocking there. And tomorrow for you guys at, uh, I think, 10 a.m. Eastern, we're doing this. This guy's coming on. The rating guy. The greater. The degraternizer. 2000. <laughs> Pretty cool. And this thing is solid, like I said. Ugh. Yeah. No, they do just depends. Okay, no statues do not hold their value at all. Whoa, that depends now. And that sucks because you spend three thousand dollars or a thousand bucks or fifty bucks, a hundred bucks, whatever it is. You kind of want to be able to get that money back. Now, let me flop this back up and flop this back down. And let me turn it around because that's what it's all about. Do the hokey pokey. And like I said, it's my bit, it's my last unboxings. Um, I got a video that I'm gonna do. I got, I think I got the pill, uh, the honeybee pop, and I got that uh, boxing, 25 pounds of boxing new equipment to use for my training camp from this company, Title Boxing. So I got to do a video for those. And that's that. Now, this is actually interesting. On this box here, it says Special Edition. Mark II. I'm guessing because it's a die-cast figure. 
is a die cast Iron Man. It's my first time ever unboxing an Iron Man figure on the channel. I own the Mark IV. Um, I haven't been able to unbox them or anything because I had nowhere to put them. Uh, yeah. And I did pre-order the Hall of Armor already. Only four of them. Only four of them. Now I feel like I need the other three. Nah. I don't know. I would only need six. I don't know. Maybe I get James Rhodes' face on here. I don't know. I got too much going on in my life right now. No pop grading for me, please, is what's killing sports cards. Sports cards have been killed by um, a company, oh my god, years ago, that started making fake ones. I seen a huge uh, American Greed story on it on a MSNBC show. I loved it. Check this mother flock out. Oh my god, it's my first time getting this far. Somebody call me an ambulance. Oh, movie masterpiece series diecast. Boy. You know another thing I was looking up today? Getting a Darth Vader. Like the new setup. Thank you, Tank. I just gotta get up, finish it up. And um, to be honest, the hardest thing with all of this is actually wiring the goddamn gl uh, lights. It takes like three hours. Three hours. Oh, yeah. My first ever Iron Man unboxing. You can buy a statue for seven bucks. Six months later, it's on eBay for $400. Flock that life. Flock that life. Ah, look at that. Sideshow exclusive again. This is the die cast one. Let's uh, pop this, whatever this thing is on here. You may want to say that. Yeah, I guess I do. Let me see if I can take my sweet ass time taking this off. Give me a second, peoples. Ah! Oh yeah, there it is. Look at that. I have to save it. Yes, I can. Da, 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 da. Tomorrow, I got Pops for Tots video coming up for all the people who donated. We, do you guys know we got 200 Funko Pops in five days? In five flocking days, we got 200 Funko Pops donated. And 80 of them came from police officer company, uh, a police officer, or a probation officer. I thought. A little damage here on the top here. Only thing that's the only thing I hate about these hot toy figures from Sideshow is they don't double box them. Oh, what does it look like? I can't see either. Oh, it smells like die cast too. You ready? Here he goes. Oh, he's not even unboxed yet. Mark two. The quality of this box though. Fucking fantastic. JC Hung, we got everybody on this, okay. Now this box, this this one here is a replica almost to like the Mark 6 they said. I think they said. Alright. Value. Don't buy a Vader for value. Just buy one with your happy with. They'll come out with a new one every two years. No value. Yeah, I agree. But when I was looking at the one that they have currently out, my thing was this. They're never going to give him anything new at all. Like, he's never going to get anything new to him. I want to make a die cast. Ready? First ever reveal of an Iron Man hot toy figure for this channel. My goal is to get one through seven, but I can dig at the Mark L with all the accessories. Which is turning out to be a seven hundred dollar figure, and I have the mark. Yeah, I have the mark seven, right? I said that, and the mark four. Let's get to it. Now that's not a Funko Pop figure. Now that's not a Funko Pop. It's a mother flocking <sighs> hot toy. 
Let's see what all the fuss is about. Oh, man. Get me my glove. What up? Belgium from Belgium, Jimmy. Considered a true collector. Pure because they collect for love. Gotcha. I'm not in for love as much as... Oh, my God. I get it. I already get it. I can see why people want die cast. I already can see why. But uh, that does make a real good point. Because you see me over here. Some other flocker came on my channel the other day. Wrote a comment on how I'm a, I'm a poser on uh, collecting. Because I'm hopping around to different series. I just don't collect one series. I collect multiple series. So that makes me a poser. And that for me to get knowledge of the figures, I have to watch YouTube videos. And I said, I don't I didn't even give him a like back. I like I didn't write anything back, which is the worst. Imagine writing a guy a paragraph and then three paragraphs, and I usually write like two words or three words back. It drives people crazy. I learned that um, on my own, by the way. Oh my god. This mother flocker here. Get the hell off me. This thing is... Look at my guns. They're flying out right now. I get it. I see why they want to die. Oh my God. I see. I get it. The die cast is the reason that you want. Holy flocking hell. Oh my God. Um, let's find that damn instruction manual. What is on the back here? Oh, he comes with a base. Oh my God. Comes with a flocking base. Holy shiz. Let's get this party going. And they, you really shouldn't collect these things, either six scale or statues for investment. I believe time overall will catch up to these items. Um, so with the hot toy figures themselves, you want to sell well, I'll put it this way. Newer the better. Go with newer the, newer the better kind of theme. Because it's true with these figures. And every time you get something new, you would sell your older one for basically what you paid for it. Um, you basically will never have like every Captain America, but you'll have like the newest one. And if you think that's the one that you want, then keep it. For me, personally, I bought the best Thor, the best Hulk, the best uh, well, Iron Man's, the best Spider-Man's. I'm going to keep those ones for my collection. And then down the road, I'll probably just sell whatever one I want for the newer variant. And that uh, seems like that theory has been working. Now, we got here our thing. Um... LED light-ups for the face mask. That's this head scope right here. Um, complete as shown. On the back, there's a on and off switch. On the left arm, open the arm piece as shown. There's batteries that go in that. I hate these flocking batteries. And that's for the hand to shoot. And then there's the batteries that go into his chest. Which hold AAA batteries for the base as well. There's the flock and screwdriver for that. Now for the face, interchangeable heads. The two heads can be changeable on the figure as shown. Okay. There's a metallic mask on Tony Stark's forehead as shown. Detached the chest armor plate as shown. Okay. That's why we read this month the flocky here. Uh, extend the waist by pulling up the torso. If you, if it can now be removed, um, and that is oh, he extends. What the fuck is going on here? Pull up the old upper shoulder pad to get the rocket out. Two styles of counter management dispensers can be interchanged as as shown. Uh, the hands, the gauntlets, and hands can be attached onto the figure thrust. Fire accessories are not attachable. Don't try to remove them. 
is recommended to hold the the sides of the indicated armor plate when attaching and detaching from the figure. Jesus. The arm can bend. That's what we needed. Arm can bend 90 degrees. The legs can bend 45 degrees. Flaps can be pushed up for easier positioning. I see that. The button must be extended for re retrieving the legs. Press and hold the back button to retrieve his legs. Oh my god. 75 degrees. If you want to get from 45 to 75. Fully deployed the, pla the flaps in the back. So you can see the rockets. And then on the bottom, the air flaps can move within 30 degrees. There's more. Be careful when bending and positioning the legs. Otherwise, the armor parts may collide and lead to paint fading. Uh, the figure is heavyweight. Please handle with care. Now that is what I'm talking about. And they're not kidding with this thing. Let me pull this thing down. I don't, I don't even know what to do right now. Let me flip the camera and show you this face. Maybe in a few years I'll get a nice little desk. I can show everybody my toys. Okay. There we go. This mother flock here. Great. Just hold this off camera. Careful. I need two hands. Wow. Wow, right? Give me it back. Come on, man. Come on, man. We're all overgrown kids. I laugh my ass off. Bill Mayer would be dis disappointed. You should reply. Thanks for watching the video. My vid yeah. I just, I should have replied. I didn't even reply. Uh, you want a slippers? That mother flocker. Tough crap. Man. This might be too much toy for me. When did we get him? Are these new? This just came in the mail. Back to back days. Look at those boxing equipment. That's in that bag over there. Can we open that? Wait, you said you like this? You I like that one. What about T'Chaka? T'Chaka? He's the he's Black Panther's oh, father. Oh, yeah. He looks cool. Oh, he looks cool. You like him? Yeah, man. Oh, interesting. Wow. Interesting. She was crying that I kept buying more toys. Not crying. She was, uh, she called me. Punky said she's never going to trust me ever again. Because she thought I was going to sell all my stuff so that I can buy nothing. Other stuff. But then I came home. Like, I took down my display saying, hey, I'm done, honey. I'm done with the so pops. So you admit you are a liar. I'm telling you. That figure is amazing. Thank you, Greg. Thank you for your uh, subscription as well. I just saw you, uh, you sub. Cletus, where can we watch your next fight? Um, as of right now, Pornhub. Pornhub. No, uh, we don't know where the stream is going to be. It's not going to be on TV. It's going to be a stream. And I'll have everything leading up to the fight. Um, with this figure, I am not going to be putting in the actual batteries because I'm never going to turn this flocking thing on. Ever. And the batteries actually... Um, by not using it over time, get messed up. It's not worth it. Just sit back and stare at the beauty before playing with it. I do that with the new hot toys. You like that? Like, I don't know what to do. I can sit here. It's like looking at the Hot Topic wall when I go there. I'll sit there for like 30 minutes just staring at it. Hmm. 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 Then I'll go walk around. Find out there's some other stuff. And then I'll come right back. I did for uh, last uh, last week when I went for everybody's gifts. So I was gonna get a. Uh, I wanted to do some codes at Hot Topic. And guys, remember, on the back of your receipts, there are a ten percent off code. No, ten dollars off for forty dollars spent. So you buy six Funko Pops for forty dollars for. Less than $40. It's like 40 bucks, I think, actually. Maybe I'm, I'm right. All right, I'm putting this little uh, display stand together. I'm loving it so far. I want some more of it. My first ever doc. Imagine I unboxed the, the, uh, the gantry one. 
Sitting batteries can cord the contacts. Yeah, so I am not doing none of that battery shiznit. Now, this comes with this here and this little flocker as well. Probably gonna have to go the other way through this. Mm. Um, this did come with a screwdriver. Where did I put it? Now, I don't think I'm gonna. I don't know if this will hold him. Yeah, this isn't. They're supposed to, you know, he comes with jetpacks. You wanna pose him in the air. Why even do that? Why even come with jetpacks? Not playing that game. I ain't playing that game. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, yeah. Sad part is all these bases are gonna get removed when I get the uh, Hall of Armors in. And those things are freaking huge. Three Hall of Armors maybe fit on one detox shelf. He comes with a little hologram, a little holographic Iron Man figure. I don't know if he has a little base because he doesn't stand too well. Oh, I don't even know what to do with all this stuff. This probably attaches to his his arm here. Probably put a rock in that son of a bitch. Oh man, this is crazy. Ah, ah. We also got we also got look at this a little ham when he's floating. This thing is flocking unreal. Got two of those. Uh, the fingers, the hands. This actually comes with a the light up, and this will light up right here. You can have him doing his little. That's pretty cool. They come with a bunch of different ones. There's uh, that one. I guess they all light up. I don't know what the hell the difference is. Hand wise, there are maybe fingers bent on that one. Yeah, fingers bent on that one. This one doesn't. Maybe this is the light up one. I don't know, but the fingers bend on that one. <coughs> they articulate. Bless my heart, bless my soul. Chat. Chat. But I like these these levitating ones. And if you put the batteries in, obviously they light up, but who gives a fuck? Um, the face scope is what I'm probably the only thing I'm really miss on, uh, mess around with on this. And figure out how we attach these rockets. And so far as unboxing my first Iron Man figure, I get it because the die cast itself, I can see why you want it. Sean Fish says, bless you, punk. Thank you. I hate the crotch, the crotch grab stands. This stand is not as bad as the other ones, only because it came with a base at least. The regular ones, like Deadpool and the rest of them. Actually, Deadpool's cool. Captain Phasma, she sucks. And you get such a basic pose. Like, look at um, Bane over there. He's just like, yeah, this is what I can do. My hair barely looks dyed. It's still wet. I'm not, I don't know if I'm going to blow dry it. It does barely even look. Well, we'll see. Damn it. All right, let me take the stamps head off. This figure... I don't know. Kind of cheesy. It looks like a mini mystery, to be honest. Oh. Alright, his head popped right off. This isn't die cast. I can feel that. And let's check out that face, boys. Let's check out that face. You're heading down a dark, hot toys path, bro. Clyde, listen. I understand that. I'm trying to get in perspective that... Hot Toys, okay. Okay. SH Figure Arts. Okay. Okay. Whoa. His, uh, his thing just popped out here. Oh my God. You guys can see that. Look at that. 
Would you look at that? Oh my god. That was pretty awesome. Now his head is going to be a little bit of a pain in the ass to get on here. The ball doesn't seem... Uh, oh, I don't want to push on him too hard. Let's do it. Breathe in. Every time I do that, I start sweating. Let's look at that face scope. Hold on, let me turn this bad boy. This thing is so heavy. Hey, it's me, Tony Stark, man. I'm having somewhat of a bad day. Sure, get back in there. Let's look at that face scope. La, 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 la. Eh. Okay, once it's zoomed in, definitely looks much better. Originally, I was like, meh, look at that. Highly suggest you guys to trade in all your Funko Pops that are Iron Man. And buy one of these mother flockers. That's crazy. Man. Now, this comes with a helmet that's supposed to be magnetic. And then they're supposed to be able to. That's pretty cool, I got to say. That is flocking awesome. I can't believe you can do that. Hey guys, I got to go. Hold on. Yeah. How flocking awesome is that? Wow. You had me at hello, Iron Man. You had me at diecast, really. All right, let's change out some of these hands. <sighs> No, I love Funkos. You love... Until you have one of these in your hand. Like, once I picked up that Deadpool, I said, okay, I get it. I'm done. Bought it. Funkos are two different things to me. Funko is like, you know, the binge beefy. Thank you for the subscription. Funko's is my go-to for no more Marvel stuff. I'm not trying to buy any more Marvel Funko Pops. Put your face back on. I did pre-order the uh, the Iron um, the Mike Tyson. Um, who makes that? I forget the company's name, but I bought I pre-ordered that too. But, I'm telling you, as a Funko Pop collector, and owning all those Iron Man figures, I would sell all my Iron Man figures for this right here. Like, if you went and bought the new... Uh, the big, uh, the big con exclusive. Um, let me put this up here. Big con exclusive. I think it's big con. One of the big cons. Toy con. I think it is. Tony Stark figure. I do think you're crazy right now. And I can see why so many people like, who are, who don't collect Funko Pops, hate on Funko Pops. Because of what they don't do, and what these do do, do do, giggity. Also the fact that, look at me, I got a whole video of me just unboxing and playing with this thing. That alone sold me on these. Like being able to sit here for an hour and a half and play with this. Lady Funk will like my comment. So Lady Funko uh, watched one of the videos or something this morning. And she was like looking like she was about to cry. And I was like, you know what? I'm just going to write a nice comment. Nice unboxing. And I bet you she probably smiled from that. Alright. I get it. This is like a you practice to pose it one. Because I would want them like levitating. 
right? You got the, oh my God, the knee up. If you leave it off the ground, right? But I don't think I'm gonna be able to get that with this little cocksucking grab right here. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna get that. Somebody I saw today, and I get to finish watching this video, unboxed a movable gantry. Yes, the gantry actually moves. Like, I want to get him in the air. I want to get him in the air. But let's check out these uh, other features. So these rocket packs here. Oh, my God. Here, let me, uh, let me play with this with you. So on the back here, this opens up, this opens up, this little flap here opens up, that opens, and that opens. Let's see if we can get his ass to stand. Oh, he looks so cool. He looks so cool. I had some strong fishing line and hang him in the air. Yeah. Right. I'll just put him in one of those, uh, in uh, the uh, things I ordered, the Hall of Armors. So, what did they say this comes with now? Like, I have two rockets here that I think attach up on his shoulder somewhere. I see the on, on and off switch here. Keep that off. Let me get the instructions because I don't want to flock this up at all. And that's to chakras. And here it is. I knew I didn't go far. You should get one for the spider punk. I when I first saw spider punk. Well, when I first went to um, San Diego Comic Con, there's two characters I liked. I liked the Darth Maul Deluxe, and I liked it. the Spider Punk. I was like, those are two I'm getting. That's it. Oh no, I liked the Joker. I liked the Joker. Like based off of just seeing the way it looked, I liked those ones. But as time has told you, I kind of don't want to just buy it to buy it. I want to actually make sure that. It saves itself overall. Removable chest plate armor. Detaches. Let's see what that does. All right, we'll go. Do you have to unscrew this? How does it detach? Detach as shown. All right, and there's right side here. Oh, I'm scared. Oh no. Wait, it is on the right side, I'm at the back here, I'm being a little limp, yeah, I'm being a little puss about it, uh, me and Punky watched that movie today, what was it called, Bird Box, oh, I got it, ready, breathe in, breathe out, Oh. Mm. I'm scared. Oh, man. The instructions weren't that good. I also got my ticket for San Diego Comic Con, if you guys don't know. And for Toy Fair, my boy uh, Clyde who's with um, a company, help me out with that. The only reason I'm not saying that, what it is, because I know how people are, and they are like, yeah, clean this thing is with this company, but it's really not. I'm gonna write a report. All right, got his chest place off. Should make a die cast off. That's the one that we think we're all getting in 2019, baby. It's the only one they said is left. All right, we got that off. Now extend the waist by pulling up 
with the upper body. All right. I don't even know why I'm doing this. Oh my God. Okay. So if you want to have him, holy shit. Is, if you want to have his body to be able to bend left and right, like so. This is awesome. That's die cast, guys. This is my first die cast figure. I'm, uh, I am in insane on how you can bend it and how you can play with it without it actually getting wrecked. Okay. Leave that there. Oh, what do we got here? More flocking batteries. Pull up the show plate. Alright, so. Wait. Okay, I think I know where the shoulder plate goes now. I didn't even see this little accessory area here. This here. Oh my god. This right here bends up. And then. Comes out. Oh, this is this is just this is just crazy. That's crazy. And then, oh man, this attached to it somehow, I believe. Let me uh, let me get to the next page, and then then this goes back down in like so. And then this is standing over his shoulder. Okay. Let's get that tight. Boom. Boom. All right. So we got that little rock going out. I'm not going to flock with those. Hands. Hands. All right. It is recommended to hold these by its side. All right, so these are just rockets. Okay, I got you now. So let's open this bad boy up on this side. There's nothing added to it. Let me pull it out. Backwards, forwards. Same thing with the front. All right. Then this goes up. Now on his arms here, we can add some rockets. This is... Uh, a little stressful. All right. So the L side, the left side here. Oof. This piece can be attached onto the figure. The thrust accessories and attachable do not try to take them off. All right. This comes out here. It's like Hot Toys, be gentle with me, hammer. Now the left, I'm hoping this is left. Okay. This guy comes with so many accessories, I love it. I feel like I gotta change his hands now because we are no longer going in uh, this pose anymore. We're getting out of here. Are you going to get the die cast Iron Man? Yes, I am. Uh, this was the beginning of it. I'm going to get the Mark 7 I already got uh, on pre-order. I have this one. I think I, ha I have the Mark 4 already. And I don't know how many left. There's Mark 1 that we're supposed to be getting a new die-cast version of, which is going to be sweet. And then I just have to pick up the rest of the stragglers. So, there should be like three left. Hopefully, there's only three left of them. And I'm going to call it good. Now, in the future, I don't know what um, what's going to happen. There's no way, like, I've thought about this. Like, the Marvel game isn't going to be over. Like, there's just too much money involved. Hold on. We're on flocking hand on it. Good catch, Hammer. I'm sweating here, folks. 
Anytime it comes to these joints. Ah. What up, Cletus? Cool piece. Thank you, Rent uh, Restless. <sighs> because uh, I'm taking off his hands. <laughs> and it's not... Um, ever since I had that stupid... Surgery? With your dick? Shut up. That stupid uh, Captain Phasma come broken. I'm like... Full-blown... Scared to play with these things. If we're gonna put one rocket on, we gotta put two rockets on. It's the name of the game. Come on out, buddy. Oh, wait. What the flock is this piece? What the hell's this? Oh, wait. No, this is an extra piece, too. Oh my god, there's so many extra pieces. But I think I'll put the rockets on that side. He has so many little accessories that come apart. It's so freaking cool. I don't know what I want to put on this side. There's like this side here like opens up. Like so. Let me show you. It's like my last time being able to play with my toys too. I want to enjoy this. All right, let me slide this in here. It's probably recommended for me to take off the hand first. Let me do that. Yeah. Okay. I got the hand. This is on there now. Now I wonder if the rocket's attached to that because that will be the best. Oh, God, God Almighty. All right, now does this oh, attach into this? One second, boys. I don't know. I think the rockets do attach, but I'm not sure. But I'm gonna leave it just like that, as if they just fired. All right, look at that. So this part comes on here, right? Boom. His chest piece comes off. These flaps open up as if they're rockets. On the back here, his other flaps open up as if he's about to take off. Um, also on the side here, these come off. These little screws here, they come off. And you can replace them with other ones. This opens up as well. I'm guessing for more articulation. So don't break anything. New out. Whoa, 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 whoa. New items alert for side shells. What the hell did they just release? New items alert. Hobgoblin. What? Pie statue. Let's see what it is. Hold on, folks. Hmm. It is a statue, 125 bucks, and he's on a freaking, he looks awesome, it's from Iron Studios, and he have it with the uh, Ghost Rider, looks pretty cool, wow, the only thing that sucks though when I get the uh, Wall of Armors, these are all just going to sit there, just like this. I like him better with his face go, uh, this chest plates. His chest plates lights up too. Chest plate lights up as well. Pretty decent. And you sold me on these. Um, imagine we went down the route and picked up all the Iron Man figures that they've ever released. Should we do it? Should we do it? Did you see me there all? There's probably like, there's 50 of them, right? Yes. I think there's 50. 
possible because they're up to like Mark 50, I think. They're up to Mark 50. Nobody's cuter than Cleety. Green. What are you going to do when I'm gone, babe? Uh, this is in a. This is a little bit of a pain in the ass to put back in. Because you wanted to get in perfect, right? Ain't that right. Alright. I guess. He's flocking awesome. This thing is unflocking real, folks. I don't know how I want to pose his ass. Thumbs up. I think I want to give him a little this thumbs up. No but no, I want to get two. I want to get Igor. Igor looks cool as hell. Um, live. Unbox my Tachaka later tonight. Yeah, boy. How's the fight game going, my man? And great hook shot on the last fight. Much respect. Thank you. Um, the boxing game's good. Um, I'm heading down to Florida in a couple days. Might even get some work with uh, Adrian Broner, which would be uh, some good work. And a bunch of ranked fighters we have set up for sparring. And this one's for you, King Tay. We just got this bad boy. As well. T'Chaka. He's badass. I gotta say, I like him. He's a big character, too. He's tall. Out of all my Hot Toys Marvel figures right now, my least favorite one is Rocket. It's Rocket. Um... It's kind of boring. And I seen um, the OG Groot for sale today for like 150, and I passed on him. I'm not gonna be home. Here, let me show you this one more time. Eh, let me unbox, open these up again. All right, turning around here. This opens up here, which is pretty cool. These open up as well. These are more for him to open up his hips to move. So you would keep these down. And then, since he's not taking off, he can just go flat. But I like the different ways you can pose them. Because I had these rockets out, like these rockets were in here. Which were pretty cool. And uh, I heard on the Mark... I think the Mark 6 the same one as this. This was an add-on feature. And these flaps that open up were like a, an extra thing too. That that one does. Because it's like a, basically a re-sculpt. Of that figure. I like that it comes with the, the shield mask. Get the Tony Stark head sculpt and let me show you what else he comes with now on the side here he has like his arm on right here opens up as if he's going to be shooting his rockets and this one's fully opened here on this side which can be covered up again now it came with two of these rockets where the hell did they go? Because I only seen room for the one. Indicate areas are very sharp. Be careful with handling. Hmm. I don't know why there's two of them. Because on the one side, like you can only add this on this side. Unless this attaches to one of the ones on top. So, on a shore whereabout. And it doesn't really say. Yeah, it doesn't really say. He does come with this, again, this little cheesy hollow ram guy. He stands like a mystery mini. Like he's already fallen over. 
I want my money back. Yeah. Um, and this was cool too. Stock boys. Only motherfucking stock. <sighs> kind of on the fence on how I'm gonna pose him. What do you guys suggest? Let me go look online. See if they got. You going to get uh, another toy hunt with Pichu in Florida? In Florida? Yeah, we might do that. I'm only there for a little while, but I think that's a good idea. Thank you for reminding me. I might stop at the MCE. I think it's MCE. Um, place as well. Which is... Okay, I got it. Uh, which is the... What's that guy's name? He does the hunting videos. Okay, I see some poses they got for this guy. They got something like this. They got this arm, which would be a fist. Look at that. Coming across here. Which I kind of don't like bending, as you can see. I'm like, yeah. So we got this arm here. The shoulder that comes out on this is uh, pretty badass. Let me see if I can get this pose correct. Let me get this arm off, which is this hand here in a fist. And it's like that. Pop off. This and then he has like this. Hold on, let's get this pose correct. This is like the cheating way to pose people. And I got this from Josh Pence too. Josh Pence was doing the SH figure arts and he was just reading the back of the box. I'm like, that is actually a smart idea because we don't know what the flock we're doing. All right, this is coming over here. Hands are somewhat down. Arm. I guess it looks like he's gonna be kinda. I don't know. This is not as easy as you think, guys. Come on. Give me some credit here. It's the thought that counts. This, I guess he has his body twisted. He has his flop, flop and flaps up. This is up. You got the rocket out. Jesus Christ. I guess if we're going to go with the most action pose here, this is the way to do it, folks. Hold on with me. Like, I could do this on the couch by myself, but it's not as fun not doing with you guys. All right. So this is coming like this. I think we're getting, I think we're progressing here. Um, where the hell is this face mask? This is on. So, this arm is up. Oh, shh. I'm good at catching things, I gotta say. Head is down. Tight. I guess it's supposed to be like as if he's touching his arm. I don't know. Tony not cooperating. Yeah, like usual. Very nice. Sergeant Funko. No, I'm not into, uh, I won't, I don't think I really know him too much. So, I would, uh, keep it to what I'm into in that stage. Let's see what we got going on with his face here. All right, I can see a little bit now.
Probably gonna just swipe it all the head on. So I'm gonna break this. Now I'm in the mood to watch now. Any Marvel film. That doesn't look too bad. It's got fixed in hands. That don't look too bad. Looks as if he's touching his little firing, like he's firing his weapon. Or he's about to. His little flaps open. Flippity flap flaps. That don't look too bad. Did your glow in the dark Darth Vader glow pop glow well? I have no idea. I'd never even... This was uh, the third comment deleted. If you... Uh, I don't know. Some, if you write some kind of... Uh, like If you write popcorn on my thing, it won't get through. Like Popcorn is banned from this channel, I believe. Uh, the big team of Unit Turtles, NECA... All like hot toy figures. Did you know that? I seen them. They got the um, one six scale ones. They look pretty cool. But I'd rather have the NECA one twelfth scale movie ones that were released at San Diego Comic Con. Um, for these kind of figures, I'm more into one Iron Man, one Spider Man, one Thor. Instead of doing what I do with my Funko Pops when I have, I don't, 10 Iron Mans, and I can't display them. The only one I actually have out is the Tony Stark one from the Comic-Con. Yeah, that's the only one I have of, uh, of all the ones I own. I'm in the mood of watching some freaking Marvel movies tonight, baby. This is getting my thing going. Let me check this thing out myself. Oh my god. I get it. Let me fix your little wrist there, buddy. Um Maybe I keep your hands open. Let me see what the other hand is. Hold on for a second. These are the light up hands. And this one. Eh. eh. I'll leave these. Whatever direction I put you in. It's the wrong direction. Um, I blocked that trash channel. I don't block anyone. Yeah. Same. I don't know how you even block people. Like, I can block people from commenting on my videos, but it sucks that, like, say I'm watching a pop video or a collectible video, they're, like, be, like, recommended, like, not interested. Didn't tell me, smelt like a cigarette factory. That sucks, dude. Um, the Hot Toy Deadpool is by far my favorite one so far. And I love it. I do love it. But this is this right here, though. For quality wise, I get it. I get why these things cost so much and why people want them. But it's a different kind of likable factor between this and Deadpool. Deadpool, you could pose him with everybody. I could pose him with everybody. And I like that. Let me see if I can... If I switch hands. Alright. Let me switch his hands out here. On this one. As if he's... About to push a button. Yeah, you see I got the button now. Alright, so we got this. Up. Oh. 
Um, the damn screen's in my way. Too much of a pointer finger. <laughs> this was the best part of this thing. You'd be able to play with them. There's an app you can download. Block YouTube channels. Really? I'm not going to block Chat Out Patrol. Alright, I got it. I'm liking it. Now let's play with these fingers here. Um, it's funny, this hand articulates a lot better. Uh, you can't see it, but... This one, on his hand, I can actually make it like a nice fist. This one I really can't. So maybe do something like that. Yeah. Put your ass, your awkward ass hand here. About to shoot that rocket, baby. All right, I got it. I got it. I like it. I want some more of it. There is a Hot Toys Batmobile. So, funny story about the Hot Toys Batmobile. In Japan, this is a good story I heard. In Japan, the Hot Toys Batmobile is so big and that the company actually kind of loses money on that because of the warehouse space in Japan. Or Hong Kong, in Hong Kong, my fault. In Hong Kong, that the company actually loses out on it and they make it up on the back end, and it's like a tribute back to the uh, collectors. To the point where people who have them in like comic book shops have used them, the box, as like a table to eat your food on. Like the box is there, they put like a glass thing over it, and you just eat your food on it because it's so massive and so big. I've seen the uh, Hot Toys Hong Kong collectors actually throw away their boxes because they need the space. And I'm pretty sure a parking spot in Hong Kong cost like $300,000 for a parking spot. Yeah. Um, if the only one that I would actually pick up would be the Tumblr. I would pick the Tumblr up for Bane. I do want to get the Batman Armory, the Dark Knight Armory. The DX11 Batman and the DX12 Joker. Like, that's on my in search of list for 2019. That. Winter Soldier, the OG one with all the guns. Um, Odin is another one. I might get the Age of Ultron Thor. I don't know yet. I think that's it. For now. <laughs> but I love them. Hey Harold Green, how you doing buddy? We just finished up our unboxing. It took me an hour. I've been working on this thing the whole time. It's been an hour and a half. You guys are getting what I'm talking about with these hot toys. Same thing. With the figure arts. I can unbox one of these. And play for like. Two hours. They're so cool and so fun to play with. Kid Goku. Brittany see me sitting on the floor by myself. Just like. Being cute. Being cute. See, she, she calls it. And I think I'm actually going to unbox one. And I'm going to get. I know which one I'm going to get too. I'm do like regular Goku one. Look at these guys. They never met in real life. But if they did, 
Iron Man would beat that ass. Very cool. I just pre-ordered, uh, I get the Predator Hot Toys because the Predator figures better than Mecha's. Those Predator figures, if I was a Predator fan, whoo-hoo, I seen people full sets of them and I can see why. If I was a Predator fan, I would only buy Hot Toys. I wouldn't even buy any Funko Pops. Um, I'm actually going to unbox Son Goku. The... I got to get cases. They sell cases for these. I got to get some because... I am scared to even move these things. Um, here, I'll show you these too. So this is the Bulma I just got. Right here. The Chaka. So this is the Bulma I got. And then I bought this Transformer. To put her on. It was like 10 bucks. I think that was pretty cool. So, she was pretty cool. Uh, Goku on his little flying nemesis. Comes with three different head sculpts. I got like four of them. I literally have four of those right there. Um, I pick, I picked this up too. You know, it was like 20% off or 25% off on Barnes. It's a uh, figure watch. It comes with a bunch of different characters. But let me get a little Sun Goku here. That's Tian Chang. I bought almost, I don't know, 50% of these already. I got all like the whole collection of SH figure arts. I did good. I think. Uh, that's Beerus. Oh, I know what I'll do instead. Block that. We're doing this. I have a diorama here that I bought off of Etsy. I'm going to put this in the back here. And I'm going to put this in here with Boma. SS3 Goku. I'm going to put those right there. Move this back. I forgot I got this diorama. Man, man, and Bobini. Um, I guess I'll put this. In. I already filled up all my cases with my figure arts already. So once I unbox them, I'm not gonna have no one. All right. This is a diorama I bought off of Etsy for twenty something bucks. It's supposed to be the World Tournament for Dragon Ball Z. It's supposed to be 1 12th scale. And I'm hoping that I can figure out a way to get it into the figure arts. The uh, figure arts. Into a detail shelf. It's 20 bucks. I have no idea what I'm getting into. Hey. Horror where it doesn't say uh horror warfare difference. Some people do have the money, but they don't do anything with it. People all wish they had money like you, but they have the money, but they don't put their money. They save it for what reason? I don't know. So they can die with it. Like my sister's like, hey. I put all my money into uh, life insurance. I'm like, thanks, I guess. This is pretty freaking big right now. Thanks, I guess. Thanks, thanks. So it comes with one page there. This is the second page. And I buy everything on deals. The only pops I have ever lost value on are the damn pieces of flocking Power Rangers, and I know why. Hello, how are you? Hey, uh, Floris, how you doing, buddy? 
how green. I think I'm going to start picking up some of those SH figure art Star Wars. Yeah, they just released the Princess Leia. Don't do it, man. Donkey over here saying, don't do it, man. Don't do it. Now, how does this fucking thing go together? I oh, please got a hope. It comes with instruction manual. Because... I have no idea what the hell I'm getting into at all. And uh, I don't even know where the hell the link was for this. So this is supposed to be the, this is a big ass tournament. I don't think I'm ever gonna fit it in the detail shelf. But that's supposed to be a tournament floor. Shit. I should have read ahead of this. Um, I'm guessing I cut that out. Where the flock of the instructions? There's no instructions. Everything's in Chinese. Oh wait, oh wait, wait, wait. I think maybe this is the instructions. I gotta cut this shit out. Look at me, look at this thing. Uh, uh, is it a sticker? I don't know. I have no idea what this is. Is it the Cell Games tournament floor? You would know better than me, buddy. Not that far to the show yet. Man. I don't know what this is. These, I believe you gotta cut them out. That is. Uh, <laughs> I can't do that right now. But this is the tournament, and I was hoping to fit it in here, and I'm definitely not going to be able to do that. That's pretty cool, though. Oh, man, I don't even know. It shows you all these ways to fold it when you, once you get it open. Oh, I got to go back to the cellar. I got it off Etsy. 112th scale. I think I put Dragon Ball in. And that is how I got these. And they shipped them right away. And it's funny too, because when it comes stuff from California, it's usually Chinese. Because they get this stuff right over there. Alright. We are not going to be doing this, guys. Better not. Predator phone common sucks, but la laptops are better. <laughs> no idea what the hell that means. All right, this is gonna have to wait another night. Sorry about um, hyping that up for everybody. Mostly myself. I thought I was gonna build a nice diorama. I had the figure watts model kit for Krillin. I don't know how long that takes, but I don't think I want to get into it. So I'm going to go find Son Goku. Give me a sec. Let me get this in. If I don't get it in now, I'm not going to get it in tomorrow. Because I'm too busy. Oh boy. And make sure you guys remember tomorrow at 10 a.m. Eastern Time. I'm going live with the gentleman from the Graded Pop Company. Who changed his name actually. Since I was with him. Since seeing the video, I guess. It looks... This so far looks better in the box. In the in the plastic. And I could sell it to you like this. Better than actually putting it together. Hey guys. I got this Diorama Tournament of Champions. 40 bucks. Who wants it? Sold. High is better. Alright, let me see if I can find this walker. Uh, the 
Vegeta. Yes. All right, let's have some fun with this. Son Goku. This is like his teenage, teenage years, teenage years. Getting into this. It's all about that Vegeta. I got the Vegeta. Um, I got two of these. So maybe I'll, I'll unbox this and the Vegeta as well. For some reason, I have like crazy OCD that you can cut this plastic off. Like just slip it. But just like the Hot Toys, I just don't want to have that in case I want to sell it sealed, I guess. A new piece of tape. Why don't you show these YouTubers wannabe boxes how it's done? Because they don't let me play like that. They won't even, uh, they ain't never gonna let me in there. I gotta get like four million subs. Then I'll box them all. I'll box every Funko Pop YouTuber too. I want, I got back to back to back. I don't care. And I might not even throw a punch. Just for, just for like a, a cause or a shell. Those lights look pretty cool, by the way. I unboxed Cad Bane to my Stormtroopers recently, too. One night, I was like, I can't take it no more. I gotta unbox some shit. I can't take it no more. What do you think of the John jo Jones failed drug test? Um, I think they went about it a little weirdly because Vada basically said... Oh, no, Las Vegas basically said... No to them fighting, but Los Angeles said yes. And I don't know why Las Vegas said no. Dana White reasoning was it's holiday weekend and they don't want to put on the show, which is okay with whatever if that's true. But him failing a drug test that has a you take so this is how you fail as a drug test. You take a grain of salt and you chop it up 500 million times. And that's what he tested positive for. Those clones are sick. Yeah, I got him with, um, and I got him with Cad Bane in the background. So Cad Bane's like putting on his mask. And Rex, not Rex, um, Echo and Fives are like looking to the side over here. As he, let's see if I can get this over there. Um, actually, I'm probably better off with this camera. So here, here, shit. Let's see if we can get in there. Um, and wires everywhere. It's a long cord. All right. So, uh, in here, I got it. Let's see if I can open it. Cad Bane's like sitting in the back, and those guys are doing that thing. He got the mask on. Yeah, he was pretty cool. And then up here, I got a uh, Kylo Ren. With Captain Phasma, I think I only get two stormtroopers for him. Yeah, that's like my clone shelf right now. Here, I just got boxes and stuff and things. These are all the custom stuff I did too for it. So I added all these little shelves here. So like this shelf I added. Uh, this one was here. This I added. So it was pretty fun to to build those. Uh, this one I had to customize to fit the Hulk in there. And I put that up as a custom, which was cool. Um, and there's nothing in here. Maybe I put the Chaka and Iron Man. He's in here now. Bane. Uh, these two will probably go together once I need more space, which is probably soon. Yeah. Well, yeah, you you're late to the game, babe. It's definitely gonna be red once it dries. It's still soaked. Look. Hold on. Let me see. It's red, but 
We need to do it longer next time. But you knew yeah. that. It's still soaked. You know that. You want to get hit? Don't hit me. I hate getting hit by you. Can I call this late or? Um, I don't know. Eh. Let me uh, let me flip this real quick. <laughs> All right, we got Goku. Like mid mid Goku, mid Goku. I want to pre-order the Obi One, Revenge of the Sith, then hopefully the re-release Commander Cody to have with him. As of uh, if you're talking about Hot Toys, because that guy's pretty sick. Caillou. I did the I got the deluxe version of him. All right. So check this out. So when you paint playing with these things, these are more for articulation. Like you can bend this in every single way possible. I'm bringing Goku. I'm gonna unbox Vegeta next. With me to training camp. Why? Because I need to have some kind of toys with me. For this camp. Like, I'm sad that I'm leaving all my stuff. Oh, man. I'm loving it. Now, let's... He has three different other face sculpts. An open mouth, a pissed off one, and a serious one. Maybe we'll go with the serious one here. Um, actually, we'll go with the open mouth one first. We'll start this out first. So these figures, you need more than one. I'm telling you, you need more. You need two or three of them. You need one for basically every face sculpt that they have, because it's so fun to pose them. I spent like a a good two hours playing with baby kid Goku that I even put him next to my bed when I was sleeping. Started working on some good size diorama pieces for DBZ, mainly modeling after Nemec, but could be used for anything. Should be big enough to lay out on a coffee table. Yeah, that's, that's freaking huge. I need it more to fit in a detail shelf. You got anything that fits in a detail shelf? Let me know. Uh, let me see if I get this face on there. All right. So we got the face on there. Let's change some hands. We're going to go with this one here and this one. Are they two different hands? Yes. All right. Let's swipe them out. Ah. Much better than doing hot toys. Like, I wouldn't mind. Like, if this broke, I'm like, oh, all right. Whatever. But, as you know, the hot toy ones are the pain in the ass ones. Get in there. Now, let's get him looking over his shoulder. We got this one. Going down. Let's get that elbow. We got this one coming out. He's doing his freaking little move. What's that called? Kama. Kama. I don't know what the hell the name of it is. Get his little stance. Boom. Nice wide stance. Let's do his Kamea. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let me flip this camera again. Oh, yeah. Shoulder over a little bit. Fix his 
stand. So these are cool too because they got these little uh, toe pivots, which are pretty neat because then you can pose them on the top on top of their toes. Loving it. I'm loving it. Eh. Get that hand where I want it. Mm. He's sticking out his ass too much. Elbow down. Yeah. See again, my Funko Pops, I just can't do this, obviously. 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 And this is like the greatest thing in the world to me. I'm like sold. I even opened up those uh, Marvel Legends for my cousin, my nephew. I was like, damn. I want to get me a Wolverine. I need me a Wolverine. Mm. Let me see if I can just stance a little bit. I like when they fight out off like an angle. Cause that's how I would fight. There we go. Looks like he's got a little bit of a, an ass. Got too much ass in there. The water stance. Chrissy Magru, thank you for your subs, slot inscription. All right. And that's just one pose. Look at that. That looks so cool. He's definitely coming with me. Do you collect the Naruto Pops? No, I'm just getting into... Uh, Dragon Ball Z, I don't know if I have enough time in my life to catch up to all the other shows as well. We got this pose. Let's try this other one that they got on back here. So we got the arm down like so. This up here. Mm. Have you gotten to them? I haven't gotten to the pops either with those guys. Get his shoulder back in place. This leg is straight. Back this up just a tad. Point that toe. Pull that down as if he's making a move. I did pick up the Mike Tyson. Uh, Hot to uh, not hot toy. Um, the, co the company that makes it. I, forget the, I keep forgetting their names. But the one six scale Mike Tyson. Got another one here. I was hoping that tournament thing that I had that diorama was good, so I can pose these guys when I'm in the background they look so much better so yeah another one right there and that elbow in a little bit now I want to go watch freaking Dragon Ball Z who's gonna go watch all the damn movies of Marvel now I want to watch Look at that. Oh, I'm loving that. I'm loving that too. Storm. Yep, Storm. You heard me say Storm and, the, and uh, my brother say it. Storm. Storm was pretty cool. Now that's with his hand. Look at that. Let's go get Vegeta. <laughs> I can't help it.
Uh, this also comes, I bought the, um, the power pole as well, because he doesn't have one. And it's an event exclusive, gotta have it. Um, yeah. Oh, Vegeta. I got a Vegito, I got Golden Frieza, I got Broly, I got Nappa, Son Goku, Majin Vegeta, Frieza, this is Gotenks, I don't know about him yet, I just got the Frieza in, uh, my last episode that I started watching. Um, that's not that one. Oh, buddy. Go Tent, another one. Oh, I got a Sydney Comic Con. Uh, I forget his name. Uh, Quackeron? Quackeron? Who is up here? Napa. Two of those. Oh, Vegeta, where are you? Nope. Gotta be this last one. All right, we got a Vegeta. I own a lot of them, guys. That's not even all the ones that I own that I even mentioned. When I collect something I like, Beware. And I know the toy companies are like, yeah, we got Cletus. Oh, yes. I hope he gets Uncle Funko to get in, on board. Oh, yes. Uncle Funko's on board. Oh, we're good. The toy companies are dying for me. But I am not collecting nano droids. I think I'm keeping just the figure arts. Damn, you're really into hot toys. Yeah, man. What's going on, Zeekman? Hot toys and uh, figure arts are my new thing. Hot toys and hot face. <sighs> they got that. They got the tat face one. Yeah, sort of. I'm not getting that one. I'm getting the Olympic one. Getting the Olympic one. Hey, Cletus, what advice do you give to someone who wants to start flipping pops? Uh, squat their body. If you want to flip them, you got to go out there, buy them, flip. Flip. and sell them. Uh, not commons, unless you live in California. But if you got the exclusives, go out there and flip them. Um, the problem is you're going to have to sell two or three to pay for your one. That's the ultimate goal. You want to sell it just enough so that you can pay for yours for free. Like that's like the ultimate goal to get your pops for free. Is it wrong? Yes, but people can do whatever the fuck they want. Now if they go try to make a living off of it, or they don't even collect pops, then ugh. Like, I went to get that metallic uh, Vegito the other day. Some ladies online. And she's like, I think you guys heard the story last time I was live. She's like, yeah, I'm here for the Dragon Ball Z Funko Pop. She's like, oh, is that Dragon Ball Z on, on that guy's bag? And I was like, making sure I don't pay no attention to him. But she said that. And you know who's on the bag? This freaking old lady. Pokemon bag. And she's telling the other kid that's Dragon Ball Z. Uh, who the hell doesn't know who Pikachu is? She's like, oh. I'm still not paying attention. She's like, oh. I shouldn't say that. Oh my. Oh, fuck me. Fuck my life. You're staying over here. You're going to be fighting our boy Vegeta. I haven't got to the second battle yet when uh, Vegeta fights Goku. So I'm excited for that. 
What's pretty cool about these, and this is why the reason you want two of them, is because they're posing. Like, look at the way he's posed here. You'd want him and Napa just standing there, looking cute as flock, doing their thing. Um, this comes with a few different accessories. You know? Let me see this. So, this comes with the scouter that can come on or off. Pretty neat. It comes with the scouter. Yep. It comes with him holding a scouter in his hand. It comes with some straight arms if you don't want to have him like this. Pull these arms off. Uh, still into pops. Or just completely over them. I am over the Marvel Pops. Marvel Pops I have no interest in getting. Uh, besides con stuff. So you're not really going to get that anymore on the channel. So it's just going to be more of these unboxing videos. But I do own all of them. Remember guys, I own all the Pops. So I am going to be doing reviews the way that I actually planned originally doing for the channel. You know, I bought them and I bought all those pops like, okay, I bought the new Disney wave of whatever. I'm going to do a review of this, I promise. Nope, I never actually did the review. So I'm going to be doing that. I'm going to do the Disney ones, 1 through 60. I'm going to do all the Mickey ones. Um, add icons. I own all the Marvel Pops. I own all the. I own. I'm gonna do the Star Wars. I mean uh, the Marvel one through a hundred. Just like going from one to a hundred. Um, and I'm pretty sure I have every single one of them. I'm gonna do Star Wars. You can do one through whatever. What put you what put you off of them? Um, that's a good question. So uh, you know, a lot of politics into that question, more than anything. Um, I can just say me just being able to purchase a hot toy, basically. Um, storage you can add into that. Um, the direction. That isn't the same from when it was when I was collecting them nah, a year ago. All right, let's get some hand poses here. All right, he's gonna be a righty as well. Oh. So, yeah, there's a lot, uh, you know. The international releases have uh, caught up. And if you guys think that Funko Pops are actually dying, people are already crazy. People are like, oh, the value is failing. That's why they're... That's why people are selling their collections and all this bullshit. Those people don't listen to them. They have no idea what the hell they're talking about. Funko is popular than ever. You guys are going to see next year. You're going to see Pops that are going to be going for $3,000. Like regular Pops. Not not a, uh, a Freddy Funko. I'm talking about you're going to see some, some Pops going for $3K. Easy. And I already know when. And I already know which one. Um... Going into 2019 though, I have a whole strategy on how I'm collecting pops. I like the fact that I can collect something and it holds its value. Like, like I'm huge with that. I say all the time, I got blood money, right? I fight for my money. Kind of face goes we got. So, 
I don't want to just take my money and just be like, eh. I'm going to throw it away here. So I think I'm going to go with this head right here. Because he's a little bit of a dick. Um, the pop lines that I'm collecting in 2019. Ad icons. Lord of the Rings. Dragon Ball Z. Um, Looney Tunes. I'm not going to collect like the Disney line like I was collecting. Like uh, the Nickelodeon stuff. Ugh, fucking hate this shit. Let me take this head away. Oh, he has different hair here. Okay, I got you. Ah, I got you now. Got you, bitch. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Oh, is that locked in? I think so. Whoo! Are you guys uh, Star Wars? I don't know. Star Wars new characters. Like the Django Fett one, I want to get. The Anakin Star... Um, look at me, I'm all jacked up because I'm moving damn toys around. The Anakin one that, that's the Walgreens exclusive. We go Sith. I want that because I got the hot toy to go with it. So that's like been my thing as well. Um, I also, I figured if Funko is going to start re-releasing stuff, I'm going to sell my older stuff to just replace it. So I'm going to sell my $700 figure just so I can replace it with a $15 figure. And I'm okay with that. And I'm, I think I'm okay with that doing out my Spongebob, like the Spongebob set for instance. Spongebob's out. I'm okay with selling my Spongebob set or my Spongebob. This comes off. Okay, hold on. My Spongebob, uh, yeah, get that back in. Yeah. Patrick and Spongebob, if I say it again, kill me. Spongebob, Spongebob. I'm okay with selling my OG ones for the Christmas ones. And the only ones I'm not planning on selling yet are like the Simpson ones. I think the Simpson OG ones are where it's at. And Funko as a company shouldn't be uh, re-releasing characters like that. Like I've seen that they got like, you know, the ones that they have coming out, which is I'm okay with. But down the line... I don't want them releasing stuff that they don't have to re-release. Like, we don't need... There's a hundred other characters in, in, in Simpsons. We don't need a common Bart Simpson one. Make some other characters. Make ones that we haven't got yet. I like what they're doing with the Toy Story. New Toy Story line that's coming out. That one is pretty good. Why? Because... There's no new release Buzz Lightyear or Lotso or Alien. I like that. I enjoy that. Build hand in hand muscles. You see that, right? <laughs> I'm getting jacked up playing with these damn things. Let's see if we get him in a decent pose here. His hips are a little tight. Get his head looking this way. Get his arm up. Get a little squat. Get that like uh, kung fu sh squat they got. Arm high. Maybe we'll turn this thumb down. Lean him a little forwards. 
Uh, oh my god. Take me home. Sing it, girl. Where's your ukulele? Here. Pony got a ukulele for Christmas. Like a lady, you know you want to lay me. Um, yeah, what up, chant? Long time no see. I know I've been uh, on the uh, DL. Do you sell back your pops on eBay? Um, not right now. Right now, I'm just been selling all my Pokemon stuff. I sold, I'm gonna do a collection review tomorrow, probably. I'm not gonna post it tomorrow, I'm just gonna shoot it because it's for January. I mean, like December, and I want to do one a, one a month. And my Pokemon collection is gone, basically, besides the OG stuff. And I sold it for about four to five thousand dollars, which is crazy. Tell her to play a song. Play a song for us, honey. I'm still learning. She's still learning. She says. Um, I did sell my porg though. I sold the big porg. Um, what was that? Whoops, wrong hole. I think um, maybe we'll leave the scouter on him. How the hell does this thing stick on? It was flocking face. Does it even stick on this one? I don't know. Let's not worry about it. You got him. Got him. Let's even not block his face. No. Oh, drunken. Drunken Goku. Yeah. You were right on the Garcia versus Porter fight. Who do you think wins in the Pacquiao Brona? <laughs> Pacquiao's going to destroy him. You know why? Because Brona made a comment. I'm supposed to be spawning with Brona when I go down to Florida uh, this week. I thought he's in jail. He got arrested for some bullshit. And Brona said a comment saying, Hey, I just got to get to this fight. So my, my kids can be set for life. He's literally training just to set his kids up. Like he's just, he's, he's not even there to win it. He's just there. Now I do have some stands for these. Which might work. If I pull them out real quick. And I might have to. Oh. But I do got some stands. 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 Stand. Stanley. Look at that. Yeah. Yeah, boy. That's what it's about right there. That face off, boys. Look at that. Love it. Ah, oh, I should pull the stands. Looking good, man. Thanks, Drew Vids. I appreciate that. I've been putting these things on hardcore. I've been going with these. I got like 50 of them or something like that. Um, I think, uh, like I said, I said Pacquiao's going to win. I think Tank Davis is too, big, uh, too strong for Mares. But I'm on a conditioning for Davis. What's up? 
said, ah, can't pull me. For pops, I'm close to done. I really only stick to Funko Shop stuff and add icons and con pops. Now, me and you, Fisher, on the same damn page. Easily. I'm on the same page. I already own all the pops I would want. There's um, a Michael Jackson. There's like the only other one. I'm missing one of them. East Greaseman. I'm completely with you there. I'm not a fan of getting every version of every character. Right. I only need one version. On Deadpool. Like Deadpool. I'm ready to psychologically sell all my Deadpools, which I kind of did because of Deadpool 13. So that I can have one character display. And now I do. I'm going to do the same thing with the Hulk. Um, the Stan Lee's, same thing. I got a Stan Lee I pre ordered. That's a, uh, a knockoff version. I got that thing going on. And I'm okay with selling those to pay for that. Um, Black Panther. I'll sell all those to pay for the one. And so on and so forth. Like I'm okay with that life. I can live my life like that. I'm okay with missing stuff. Like, the Flock Beerus, right? I didn't get it. I said, oh, whatever. I'm not going to cry about it and say, wah, wah, wah. But, I could probably trade for it down the road and wait for it to drop. It's right here at 40 bucks or so. Um, I don't see pops going up, like those kind of pops, going up like they were. Unless Funko plays a little trick on us. Which they should. Like if I was Funko. I would make like. One exclusive. That has like. Like the SSS3 Goku. The GameStop exclusive. I would make one of those like. Every like three or four months. Like a pop like that. So that you think you got the one that has that limited amount released. And totally flocks up the whole community. Like that battle of Deku from, uh, I think it's uh, the one that just got released, the Hot Top exclusive. They should have left that pop at just one release. Just the way they did. The first time. Why? Now, people are going to go out there and pick them all up because they think that's going to be one that's just like the other ones. And if I was Funko, I would play that game. Flock on everybody. This freaking scouter does not fit on this guy's face. Does he fit on this one? Yeah, it fits on this one. Doesn't fit on this one. That's a little annoying. What about these faces? Well, can I swipe out his hair for this? Let's see if I do that. Can you flip every shop exclusive pops? Of you have to choose the right ones. No. Funko Shop exclusives suck nowadays. Look at the... they The, uh, the Funko Shop is dead. I, I stopped buying the Funko Shop besides the Mickey and the few ad icons that are released. I see... I don't flip pops either. I'm in there to do one thing with pops. I don't want to get double my money. I'm looking to get five times my money. Four times my money. I marinate them. I, you know, I, I want to hold on to them. 
and see him go up. And that's like my favorite part of one. You know, seeing a pot that you paid 15 bucks for and now it's worth 100 bucks, 50 bucks. The entire game of pops is basically dead on the market, on the, uh, on there. Unless they give you a limited numbered one, okay. Because right now, when they released the Honey Bee, that thing's $44. $44. Look at the Snap, Crackle, and Pop. It's retail. That sucks. Snap, Crackle, and Pop should be easily easily 120 bucks 120 dollars snap crackle pops retail something wrong there mickey's are probably like same thing now we now we working on this ah i thought vegeta was a little smaller too So the fungal shop, uh, I don't think it's worth your time right now. It was better when it was when it sells out in one minute. If the pop sells out in one minute, that's a good pop. Why? Because it sold out in one minute. If it sells out in five minutes, you flocked up. Look at that right there. And again. There's no need to flip the pops. They're marinators. They're marinators. And that's one of my biggest secrets I have for everybody. Like, I'm going to do how to grow your collection to 100K. You're going to see that. See how I did it. I did a great job doing it. If it's not numbered, it's not worth it. Basically, there's too many resellers. And less collectors. There's too many people trying to flip the pops than actually collected them. So a year ago, the collectors bought the new uh, Funko Shop exclusive, kept it in the collection, and there's only a few listed on eBay. Now, the collectors barely even get to touch them, and the resellers take up 80% of the market and they put them on eBay right away. So it's totally opposite from a year ago. So again, a year ago, the collectors bought the Funko Shop stuff. Kept them. And then you could say 20% or 10% put them up on eBay. Now it's totally backwards. 90% of the people are all resellers. And throw them all up on eBay. And only 10% of it fall in the hands of the collectors. Plus the fact that there is more numbers released than ever is another big thing. So, you gotta put all that stuff in consideration um, to see why the pops are not gonna be going up. Especially the beautiful Funko Shop ones. I feel sorry for the people that spend that much for that for it. That pop will never be 500 again. Which one are you talking about? My Hero Academia. Yeah, that's the one. But never, ever again. And I got you. Why? It sucks. Those people sucks for that, man. It's unreal. I know you're talking about it. I mean, like the Walmart GameStop exclusive. Walmart's the worst exclusives. Don't don't buy it. Even that con suck. Con exclusives. The best pop from Walmart is literally a Suicide Squad pop. Harley Quinn. Please don't learn when the hype starts. Buy the old pops before they go up in value. The new pops are going to be worthless because they make a ton of them. And they're internationally released. And none of them get retired of Walton. It's not numbered. It's not worth it. Um, somewhat. As of right now, yes. Even a Funko Shop item. There's not that many of them and they're really not even worth it. You know, you're paying 23 bucks. And they're selling them for $35. Or $33 or $30 just to pay for the shipping. Even the 
uh, the Canadian con they had, the E3, those pops were basically nothing. Way more numbers. They make as many store exclusive as they used to make commons. Facts. So true. So, so, so true. Ridiculously true. You know, a common used to be like 30,000. Now they're right exclusive. 30,000 on a damn sticker. Or 20,000. Like, what? I know they got more collectors. And they're satisfying everybody. They're satisfying the co collectors completely. Which has downgraded us. As a um, collector in hopes of getting something and holding its value over time. Like, and I'm talking about taking it, holding it, storing it for two, three, four years, taking care of it, moving it, displaying it, taking it down, traveling to a storage facility, and then leaving it there for two years. I want it to be more than what I paid for it, basically. Because <laughs> that's how much effort goes into it now. All, everything just said above and beyond. Oh, he comes with two scouters? That's pretty cool. I didn't know he came with two scouters. I think he has a scouter in his hand. And he comes with magic hand. SHP cards. How much are you streaming for? Not too long. I gotta get up and do hot yoga at 8 a.m. Oh, I did it still the day too. I was able to get Kid Goku balanced. Vegeta. Okay. Let's see if we can get him. Only ones that complain they didn't get a drop because. They checked an hour late. They did they check too late, or you know they feel left out because they think that pop's gonna be worth all this money. And by the time next week comes around, you don't see them people complaining no more because they find out it's worth absolutely nothing, and they really didn't care for it. The only pops that suck right now, if you collect, are the Dragon Ball Z. Every single person is on those Dragon Ball Z pops. Unflocking real. Drew Vids in the house. I don't know how I got this mother flocker to stay. Well, Kid Goku. I'm gonna get him. Six hours later. All right. If we gotta go this way, might help open that hip up a little bit. We gonna get this mother flock to stand. Bird box. Come on, you flocker. <laughs> I swear I got the kid Goku to stand. Back in twenty three, they would produce commons. Twenty fifteen, twenty count. Now commons are being produced, and uh, I think they're much higher than that. I think commons are around tw uh, 50,000. I think commons, like I said, 50, 50K. Come on, quick leaving that one. Come on, buddy. Yeah. Now, if this wasn't on a stand that's going to be, is movable, I'll try to get him doing, like, kicking Vegeta. Be quiet. Don't, we're hunting rabbits. Holy shit. Is. You 
about to kick Vegeta right in his face. Boom! That looks pretty cool. Way higher comments. 50k and popular characters. Yeah. Worldwide release now. Remember, these are getting re released internationally. And HMV is going under, I saw. I can't believe I got on a stand. And Vegeta's about to take one in the face. Look, he's ready to get in kicked. Uh, I thought it was funny they put 25k and 20k limited piece stickers on Rocket, Raccoon, and Star Lord. What was the point? I think it was to make the comic book shops feel better about themselves. Yay, look, we got an exclusive. I don't know, based off the comic books, they look pretty cool in person, but honestly, 25k? The 3,000 piece ones don't even move. Think about that. The 3,000 piece pops are worth like 100 bucks. Ugh. I flocking started it up. Wanted to get his leg higher. Oof. Where we at? Where we at? Where we at? You're in a tight rope. What up, Ricky Austin? How you doing, pal? I'm trying to play with some figure arts. Get him some crazy poses. Which is actually pretty fun. It's pretty good of a challenge. I think his one leg might be too high. <sighs> Almost there. Yeah! Let's get Vegeta. Let me move my damn hands. For desire. You gotta be quiet when you're talking to these things. <sighs> Exclusive is a common as well. They have produced the same amounts now. Just a sticker. Better off with the OG and limited. If you want to, I'm telling you now. Um, I'm making a video on it. I already started it. It's the end of 480. You are not going to see no more 480 piece Funko Pops. The only one that we saw this year was from Fun Days. And it's the highest valued pop of them all. Look at that. I'm liking it. I might even have him bust his ass. behind him as if he's bracing himself uh. mm. turn those elbows out but you know on this channel we talk about it other channels don't really talk about stuff like this Look at that, he did like I kicked in the face by Goku. I want to buy a bunch of exclusive stickers and put them on all the ones at Walmart and record it. You should. You should. Right, the real exclusives are now the one you can only get at an event and are never sold online. If they are, they're ex really expensive. Um, but I know the next, like the next 1,000 piece pop is uh that red hulk man if you guys don't have that red hulk from san diego comic-con go pick it up go pick it up please i believe um 
he Bruce Banner can't turn to the Green Hulk. And he's gonna be turning into the Red Hulk. And that pop is gonna go right up in value. Do it. Boom. I'm loving these little characters, man. I'm bringing all of these. I'm bringing these two. I'm bringing Kid Goku. I'm bringing them to Florida. I'm bringing my toys to Florida. As much as the OG pops. The days of people making a huge profit or dreams of retiring are long gone. Yeah. Um, I've noticed that right away. And I saw that. I'm done. I'm done with them pops. I'm there. I'm good. Good. And what kept sucking me in is that stupid damn Marvel stuff. If I never found Hot Toys, I'd still be getting my pop game on. But I did. And I love it. My girlfriend is watching with me and is asking if I'm going to be like you when I'm older. With all my toys. Well, if you were smart enough, you definitely would want to be like me. I spent basically half of what my collection is worth. And my collection is worth over $100,000. Which is pretty awesome. Now there's a question comes, will he sell his collection? And that's up to him. It was hard. I'm not gonna lie, it was hard. But I started whittling some stuff down with those turbos. Like I started selling some turbo Funko Pops recently. Cause I own like 40 of them, whatever it was. It was in the 20 something I think. Sold them for about 20 something bucks a piece. Paid three dollars a piece for them. You want this? Um, what is that supposed to mean? Candy. And that was like 400 and something. I made like, I think the profit, even after eBay took there and PayPal took theirs, was like 400 plus change. It paid for a hot toy. And then I sold the uh, the Porg, giant Porg plush I owned. I sold him for $225. Open the same pods now. I have the one that I can open. Uh, the other one you have to build. Eh. The one you have to build. <laughs> open the same pods now. And the other one that you build is nice because Napa fit, fits in it. Vegeta, Vegeta is such a dick. I love him. Yeah, I think it was a scouter. Possibly Combo Hulk 2. Yeah. I don't know. I love my toys. I love my figures. I'm glad I found these. I did like those Marvel Legends. But I don't see me collecting the, like the entire set. Like I bought my nephew all those ones. I don't see me collecting like the whole set. Like the Wolverine was cool. Like I would probably only buy the Wolverine. That's about it. And Sabretooth. Like our Sabretooth sucks. That should be an exclusive flat pile. Wolverine's dud too. I don't know. That damn Logan never moves up in value. Pisses me off. Peter Parker's another trash one. Bank robber Joker never moves. Bane never moves. And... Uh... No. Another thing is that, that gets annoying to me is... I see other companies... Well, I'm not annoyed with. More of a... I'm on the, I'm on the eye for... I see other companies with these other licenses. Thank you, Ghost Soldier, for your sub flock inscription. Um, with these other licenses, like SH Figure Arts has the Joker of this. They 
from the movie uh, The Dark Knight. And I'm like, well, if they have the licenses, that's still active. And they can sell those flocking things. Like, Funko can go get that license for that. Now I'm like, well, it must not three and a quarter inches. Maybe Funko won't go after it. But then they can make it a bobblehead. Would they rather that them do that? I don't know. Like, I got... I think I got five... Top five reasons why Funko can't get po uh, Pokemon. Like, I got a whole list of that. I think that'd be pretty uh pretty good video why they can't get them. One being because of the uh, licenses of the other figurines that they can't get. Thunderbolt Ross, the agent in the MCU, he turns into red in the comics. Yeah, so... Um, I agree, right? But this is the MCU, right? So the only thing is, they are making up their own story, which is kind of crazy. And it makes, well, and it works. So I hear you on that. Um, they will recon that Red Hulk will be Banner. It would confuse too many people that know nothing about Marvel to use a different character. I don't know. No idea. And I thought Red Hulk was his sister. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how many I got, but it's several hundred Marvel Legends, maybe around a thousand Black Series, and probably over five or six thousand three and three quarter Star Wars figures and many other characters from other lines. Well, you're my helper. Which ones were worth picking up? And did you say 6,000? Star Wars figures? 6,000 Star Wars figures? This guy flocking out of his mind. That's crazy. That's crazy than Vegeta. Oh, Vegeta. Punky, are you excited to take your medicine and see how long you get to I sleep did, tonight? I need to pee. See how long you get to sleep tonight? I'm going to put my watch on to see how good of a sleep I get. Get the Hot Toys Hulk Buster? Woo! Excuse me. Yes, I am. I have um, Hot Toys Hulk Buster on pre order for sure. And a bunch of other things. Every other. Marvel one. I think the only one I don't have is Black Widow. And I think from the Endgame previews, trailer, she doesn't even have black hair in there. Or from photos, she doesn't even have black hair. I mean, uh, blonde hair, excuse me. Blondie, that's why. And that's why. So... I'm cool with wait that one out. And I see my shoe's going to be the one that goes down to like on Big Bad Toy Store for two fifty with a $100 store credit or something like that. Specialty. Um, this goes round and then These things here, these, you know, this one cost only about 35 bucks, and you can get it for, on Barnes. This one's, I think, like 50 or 44. Here we go. Black Widow is the best one. The Avengers Black Widow. Yeah, the Avengers one. I like that one. Um, started collecting as a kid. I'm 35 now, and I've been collecting everything. From the 70s, 80s, 90s, early 2000s. And the only ones I didn't pick up was the three fourth inch line where the solo figs. A fucking solo movie. That's another reason I stopped collecting Star Wars stuff. That movie. You know. And the whole Force Awakens. The Last Jedi line. That's when it was all downhill. All went downhill. There's like 80 Funko Pops in The Force Awakens. Yeah, 
It's crazy how big that line is. I have the original Hulk Buster release, amazing piece. Did you buy the accessory for it? I wasn't into Hot Toys yet, so, so I had no idea about it. Have you ever watched Talker art my collection come and reflects a lot of what he has as well as stuff I have just like he does and other stuff he has. I uh, Is he like a YouTube guy? Did you get the power pole for Goku? Hell yeah! Somewhere behind me. Hell yeah. I got I got two of these Gokus. I got two Bulmas. I got two Nappas. Um, this is right here. Actually, I can show you it. Um, I feel like these figures, you gotta buy them in two. Um, another great thing about these figures is they get released only one a month. One a month. One a month. Not, hey, here's an entire wave and I'm going to surprise you. And they put pre-orders for them up, which is great. I can't wait to go to San Diego Comic Con this year and check out Hot Toys and Figuarts. Who knows? Nano droids, not just Funko Pops. Look at that. Goku's still standing. Saiyan Pod is getting delivered, folks. I might have taken this out once before. Maybe, maybe not. Who knows? Um, the lighting will be better in the future when I get these two lit up. Uh, finally lit up. So this is actually made with a cranking system, so hear like a little ratchet like, uh, Goku move he has a little ratchet which is pretty cool now this one isn't as good as the other one when it comes to the anime colors inside they said the other one does but this one if you put lights in it it actually lights up Which is pretty cool. And I have no idea where the flocking lights go. But, oh snap. Now this is the type of guy that I like to see fully. Yeah, Mando. Nude. Okay, I didn't see that part. But thank you, Mr. Dickwater. Jamazon Prime. Now let me move this bad boy over here. Now let's place Vegeta in this mother flopper. This one I got from Toy Dojo. Goes for about... This one's the, this is the more expensive one. This one costs like 65. Get them little feet in there. Punky really thought I didn't eat that, that burrito. Yeah, I tore that thing up. Let me get this. Hold on one sec. Yeah. I feel like he's a little too tall, too. Definitely ain't gonna fit nap in this bitch. Come on, buddy. Move your big ass head. Or put his legs up like this. Hold on. I think I got it. Let me squat his legs wider. Uh. Come on, you flocker. He's, uh, his head is a little too big. I guess you would leave it open. As if he's sleeping still. With his head down. This thing lights up. Too. Which is pretty cool. Um, and it also comes with this stand. 
which blocks in somewhere. Crazy part is I can show you guys toys of new shit I bought for like the next four days. And I don't think you're supposed to do that. I don't think you're supposed to have that option. <laughs> Vegeta's sleeping. His feet are cracked up too. Let's see if we move his feet around. Mm. Mm. Spread your legs, you slut. What's your favorite Vegeta pop? Excluding PA. I don't like the PA Vegeta. Um, I like the Metallic one from um, San Diego Comic Con. The Metallic stuff is my favorite stuff. Of all the pops that you can collect, between Flocked, Chrome, Common, Metallic is the one the one I like. On all of them. Metallic Furious is the best one. Metallic uh, Wiz. 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 With he's uh, one of the best ones, and the San Diego Comic Con metallic one. Check on the S the Teenage Mutant Turtle figure watch, they're amazing. You're a fan of the 80s cartoons, still waiting for Shredder to hopefully get released by SH Figure Watch. Been on hold for almost two years. Chris, I pre ordered the GameStop, well, the San Diego Comic Con ones that were released by NECA. Based off of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle movie, the second one, Return of the Ooze, I got those on pre-order with GameStop. They were released at San Diego Comic Con and then re-released with less accessories to GameStop. Um, Josh Pence told me about them and I pre-ordered them things right away. Metallic Wiz today, right before the coupon for eBay went live. That sucks. Fifty percent off. That's how I've been getting these SH figure arts, um, Comic Con ones. That fifty percent off code. I'm pop collecting myself. I've been looking for a yellow submarine pop. Good luck with that. I own one. No, who do we have? We get the blue mini, not the yellow submarine. I haven't seen it. Have you? That one is a hard one to get. I believe you have to buy the whole little thing with that too. I don't think they sell it individually. I could be wrong. I don't remember. But that's a, uh, it's a tough one to get. Tough one to find. I got all those. Uh, those pops were pretty cheap too. I got a lot of hype on that. Uh, on those, what is that? It was uh, the graded, graded cards I did. Mm -hmm. Of course, I bought two of them before they were gone. Surprised we got them in our truck as they are valuable. Which animes do you watch right now? I am stuck on Dragon Ball Z. Uh, Funko has. Got me into pop culture again. That's how Funko got me. Now, I, I collected all the Star Wars Funko Pops before we even watched the movies. Never even seen the Marvel films. Besides the original ones. Before collecting all the Pops. Um, the only ones I've actually watched beforehand are like the Nickelodeon stuff. From the 90s, but that's about it. And because of them, they got me into all this craziness. Pre-ordered them like three, four months ago. I can't wait for February. Yeah, I pre-ordered them about, I would say over a month ago. Can you make me one too, honey? Mm -hmm. But I'm gonna go to bed, guys. I gotta get up. Uh, I gotta be in the gym at eight o'clock tomorrow. And by the gym, I mean hot yoga. Cause I'm a freaking weirdo. Shit works, man. Do it. Um, we unboxed to ch 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 Iron Man Mark Two. Vegeta. Goku, a Saiyan pod. And it took me almost three hours. Three hours. Thank you all for coming in on Snap. Uh, Snap. <laughs> That's Mario over there. 
on Twitch. I appreciate all you guys following on me over there. And on YouTube. Have a great night. Enjoy your time off. Tomorrow's Saturday. I am going to be live around 10 o'clock tomorrow with the owner of the graded Funko Pop company. If you have any questions that are all concerned, which I am to chuck that out the window. <laughs> you the man. Trump Fisher. Next time I'm going to freaking, uh, I got to mod you. Um, yeah. Tomorrow, if you have any questions, ask them. And I'm concerned, that just like you guys are, with the what what makes this guy qualified enough to be able to grade these pops? Oh, shit. eBay ends soon. You'll be there good. Yeah. Um, what gives this guy the, like, how is he the guy that grades the pops? I don't feel, I don't think that investing all money into it to find out that some other company now came over here and shitted on him. And we have, and, they, and that company has a record and proven that they are an established certification company that's out there to give the best for the customer. So I'm definitely going to be asking some questions of my own. Excited for it. I was in a bit on this Piccolo, San Diego Comic Con exclusive. Um, it's about to end on eBay, but it's way too high. 275 is out of control. I'm going to leave that motherfucker there. And wait till everyone goes broke before I buy one. Ain't that right, babe? He got a PhD in Pops? I don't think so. He's still in the collective for like a year. Coin grading companies. Coin grading companies are a little bit different. I'm not talking about talking about an individual an individual person grading pops. Like me opening up my own company and grading pops. And he has to patent in, act fast because everyone can take kids idea. He has a patent already. It's all set up. Everything's ready to go. Um but the most biggest concern for everybody and from all the comments I've read on Facebook and YouTube is what gives this man the right to be the guy who does the pop? Like, what makes him the guy? Have you seen the, uh, the, the resin statues? Yes. Yes. I did. I guess I did. Yeah, everything looks good. But let me get out of here, guys. Have a great night. I'll see you here next one. Hammer out. Where's the end game on this?